All right, so today is Saturday, September 19th, and uh, here's what I got done this week. So I just got done with a uh, couple hour long Zoom thing with um, a lot of other sling builders, and it was really cool to kind of see uh, the community kind of taking shape. And uh, it was a really interesting talk with uh, Mike Blight, the designer of the the TSI and all the other sling aircraft was was um, on the call with everybody. And um, thank you to Pascal for for arranging it all. But anyway, here's what I've done this week. So I applied the vinyl to the wing and um, as you can see it applies and it looks you can almost see just the texture of the paint and the texture of the vinyl are exactly the same and so I'm really really happy with the way it turned out I think that uh, it's a really good alternative to kind of adding the paint for kind of some smaller design stuff and and that way you know if you don't like it exactly how it is you can easily take it off and change it and and uh, all of that so anyway you know, I'm not going to be taking this off. I think it looks great. So the way it works is you lay down this uh, design line tape. I've got my ear of corn here because, you know, that's the great thing about Idaho. Somebody stopped by and said, hey, you got to try this corn. Anyway, <laughs> um, this design line tape, it lays down. It's got a string inside of it. So you kind of lay it down exactly where you want to show your pattern and you lay it down on the edges of it and you snap it and it pulls the string out from the tape and you lay the vinyl over it all and it cuts the vinyl exactly where you've got the tape laid. And I'm really, really pleased with the way it turned out. I think it's gonna look really great. I've got a lot of cool detail with it for the uh, fuselage as well. So yeah, so I think that, you know, the kind of finishing touches here on this plane are coming out great. Um, and you know, by heating up the, the vinyl, it gets really flexible. And so you're able to contour to the rivets, um, really well. And so the whole thing comes out looking great. Um, if anybody's got any questions kind of on how the actual detail works, let me know and I can get into it a little bit better, but yeah. So this wing, as far as kind of its design is complete. This is the right wing that I had painted last week. Um, I got the other wing painted up. And it's currently drying. I got this finished yesterday. So same thing as the last one. And um, yeah, this paint booth, it's, uh, you know, it's not perfect. It's not necessarily a professional paint booth, but I think that it's, uh, allowing me to do a really good job on the wing wings painting in general and uh yeah so this wing will come out on monday and i'll put its its vinyl graphic on and the other thing i got done this week is i got the windshield installed so the windshield is all completely bonded in place and looking great and so the fuselage will be uh, prepped and painted next week i think i'll probably be painting it early, probably Tuesday or so. And uh, honestly, that's pretty much it for the update this week. Um, each one of these processes is, you know, fairly time consuming, getting that windshield bonded in, um, the vinyl here, and and mostly the paint paint prep for the, uh, the uh, left wing there. Um, so I got some work done on the paint booth as well. Um, I added a couple extra fans for inlet pressure, uh, just to keep the pressure balanced a little bit better. Um, and my two exhaust fans were just way outpacing the the two can fans and my my center fan here. So I had to add a you know third and a fourth, or whatever fourth and a fifth fan because the filter here you know impedes the flow. So really, that helped a lot too. So now when I'm painting in there, I've got you know, no paint fumes building up, nothing. It's just a really, really well-balanced um, paint booth. The only problem with it, of course, is that it's, you know, not perfectly sealed, but pretty satisfied with it. So anyway, um, I think that's the update for this week. It's just a really short one. Um, 
so yeah next week the uh the fuselage will get painted and it'll all be transported over to the hangar for final assembly and so hopefully by the end of the next week you know maybe i can be over there in the hangar and uh and uh starting to look really really exciting so that's it have a good weekend everybody